Welcome to the Network Kyuber News, I'm Solomon Reed, and today we have to announce our Spirit Airlines files for bankruptcy. Spirit Airlines filed for bankruptcy protection Monday, as mounting losses, unaffordable debt, increased competition for bargain-seeking airline passengers, and the inability to merge with other airlines left it little choice. The airline said it will continue to operate as it restructures its debt. Guests can continue to book and fly without interruption and can use all tickets, credits, and loyalty points as normal, it said in a statement. Airlines and other companies in the United States frequently file for bankruptcy and emerge stronger on the other side of the process. Most major U.S. airlines, including the three largest, American Airlines, United and Delta, have filed for bankruptcy at some point in the past 25 years. Spirit Statement said that as a result of its bankruptcy and negotiations with existing creditors, it will be able to emerge early next year with reduced debt and increased financial flexibility that will position Spirit for long-term success and accelerate investments providing guests with enhanced travel experiences and greater value. It added that the creditors had agreed to pump an additional $300 million into the airline to fund its operations through the bankruptcy process. But it is also possible that Spirit, save, will end up being bought by another airline or be forced to liquidate. Numerous airlines, including American, have had their assets purchased out of bankruptcy and merged with a different airline. Spirit's filing disclosed that it has nearly 13,000 full-time and part-time employees and another 8,000 independent contractors and temporary workers. The loan was issued in 2020 and 2021 as part of a federal program that provided grants and loans to the nation's airlines to keep them in business at the beginning of the pandemic, when most air traffic ground to a near halt due to health concerns. While most of the money was distributed as straight grants, there was a total of $21.2 billion loaned out to the nation's airlines as well. In recent years, Spirit attempted two mergers, one with fellow bargain carrier Frontier Airlines and once with JetBlue Airways, which topped the offer from Frontier only to have its purchase blocked by a federal judge on antitrust grounds. As a result of the bankruptcy filing, Spirit expects to be delisted from the New York Stock Exchange in the near term, it said Monday, adding that its common stock is expected to be canceled and have no value as part of the restructuring. 